Hey everybody, JK Calloway here at Real JK Calloway, and we're jumping into a new game, What Remains of Edith Finch. I've never had a chance to play it. Uh, it's, it seems really interesting, great story-based game. Uh, I actually tried to record uh, with my wife, like I do with Until Dawn, if you're watching any of those, but it's first person and that made her a little sick, so she, she yeah. So I'm going to do it myself. I did get a chance to play Going Home, uh, which is a little bit older game. Uh, I think it's the same studio, I'm not sure, but I uh, enjoyed that. Great story being told, so I'm excited to see what this one is. Let's go! Okay, I thought we were going to start at the circus or something. Alright, can I get up? I cannot get up. Ooh, flowers. Oh. Alright. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh, all right. Can I move down? I can. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Hmm. Well, it looks like a weird, wonky house. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I Excellent. Had back since my brother Lewis's funeral. There's a funeral. That does not sound friendly. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or. She thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. You got me here. Hi. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Can I follow you? Of course not. No. The house was exactly like I remember. Jesus. It, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Are you sure? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I... Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh. Oh. Okay, then. We'll use the doggy door. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I would imagine so. power had been turned off the night we left. When did you leave? For the first time in years. Uh-huh. I felt like I was home. But is that a good thing? But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank? Whoa, what the letters just. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Damn it. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. That's cool. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What is going on here? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What happened to this door? Who sealed it up like this? Upstairs we go. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Good job, Edie. But what the fuck? Why would you seal up all the bedrooms? That is just creepy as hell. Don't. Mm. This one too? Yep, yeah, look at that. Barbara's room. Oh, who's that? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin, huh? I just finished God of War, so. Odin, huh? Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Whoa. But she was only 16 when she died? Gregory? Oh. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. It's only a year old? Not cool. Calvin? Only 11? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hopefully that just means when he was alive, they shared a room. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Well, why did she seal everything else? And not this room. Oh. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, shit. Uh huh. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Okay. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Right? December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Am I Molly now? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh. My Halloween candy was all gone. Yeah, I can serve. Plan ahead. I kept eating and eating. Ugh. Ooh. Wait a second. Don't eat that. I ate a lot of things that night. That will kill you. Please tell me that's not how you die. If you die, I don't know. What next? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Yeah. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat. Come here. I get, uh, okay, let's go. Come here. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh, I got you. Where's that bird? There you are. Come here. Come here. 
Yeah, I'm here. I jumped and I almost got her. Cat's getting pissed. Yeah. I could tell she was getting really tired. Come here, jerk. Oh. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. No, I need a bird. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Yeah. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. The hell's then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. Oh, where? Uh huh. Oh, give me right it. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Jesus. And then I flew off to find something bigger. Bigger, huh? She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I have to flop my way to the water. Yeah. What the fuck? I was big and I moved real quiet. Oh, Jesus. See, I'm going up. smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. Shit. This isn't... This is be messed up. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I 
I have no idea what to make of that. Am I walking out here? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. And his house? But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. It's a fun little thing to have. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Whoa. A shag? Yeah. Sound of it. Where's the mirror? The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was horrendous. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. There's a uh, black room. Sven gave Sam room. an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, Jesus. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. It's only 11. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barber Funeral, we swore. He'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I, I think like Calvin always wanted to fly. Really? You're making me kill this kid? More or less? Coming! But that day, this is making me dizzy. he finally made up his mind to do it. 
I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Yes. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Oh. thought of Barbara as a child star. Did you sleep next to that? Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, Jeff here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Could they not afford to get as a child star, Barbara was the famous keeper? for her screen. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. Jesus. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, Ed's current boyfriend. Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. She wound the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. 
silent. How do they get the rights to this music? Has to be copyrighted, isn't it? That creepy shit. There's the table saw, okay. No. 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 This is unfair, I can't see shit. Okay. to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out. But she kept the little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. It's me again? Yeah. Not creepy. Where's Walter's room? This one, right? Yep. Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I return. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Creepy clown. So this way. Uh oh. That night, she played her part beautifully. It's fucked up. Molly's room. Out the window, probably. No. She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Okay, good. What am I doing then?
What's going on? Oh, moving. Smack. Yes. Good again. All right. He wasn't moving, but she sensed this story might not be over yet. Throw it. Am I going back down? Is he still there? Nope. The hook man had vanished. She listened by his breathing, but all she heard was... I thought I had him. Oh goody. No. I'm going. Shh. Shh. Dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I freaking hope not.